Good afternoon, everyone. <clears throat> Thank you for being here. My name is Tim Butler. I'm a state representative from the 87th District. I live here in Springfield. I'm the spokesperson on the House Redistricting Committee. Uh, I'm joined by my three colleagues from the House Republican Caucus, uh, Leader Ryan Spain, who's on the Redistricting Committee, Leader Avery Bourne, who's on the Redistricting Committee, Leader Tom Demmer, who has been a super sub in the Redistricting Committee over the last few days. I want to start off by addressing a complete fabrication on behalf of Chairwoman Hernandez. In her testimony today, she said, the changes were made not, the changes we made, meaning the majority, the changes we made not only reflect testimony provided the last couple of days from members of the public, but also include revisions to address concerns raised by Republicans. That's a complete fabrication. The only thing that we have advocated for as Republicans throughout these entire hearings are two main points. One, the use of ACS data is flawed to draw maps. It's been testified to in committee many times. And secondly, that politicians should not be picking their people, picking their constituents. And for her to say that Republicans somehow had a part of this process is ridiculous. And I think it underscores the fallacy of this entire operation we've seen since the hearings kicked off on April Fool's Day. This has been a complete mockery of the process of what we've seen over the last couple of months. As I said in the committee this morning, the people of Illinois woke up first thing this morning to find out who their politicians were going to be for the next 10 years with legislation dropped in the middle of the night. And the chairwoman has no idea how that stuff was drafted. That's what she testified to today. It was, testified, it was, it was drawn by staff, it was drawn by consultants who go unnamed in the secret room over in the Stratton building that you've all been made aware of. The people of Illinois deserve better. They deserve better than this process. They deserve better than the Democrat majority in this institution. This continues what we've seen for far too long in this state. And I find it beyond ironic that as our hearing was going on, there was another hearing virtually for the federal courthouse in Chicago with the former chief of staff to Mike Madigan, the former clerk of the house, and the former executive director of the Democratic Party of Illinois, Tim Mapes, who drew the current maps that we have, and much of those same consultants and staff that helped draw Leader Hernandez's maps, learned under Tim Mapes. We need better in Illinois. We as Republicans stand with the people of Illinois, with the 600,000 Illinoisans that signed petitions in 2016 to go to a fair mapping process. We've put forward solutions to get us out of what we're doing right now, and the Democrats have ignored it time and time and time again. I have legislation. Leader Spain has legislation. Jason Barrickman, Senator Barrickman has legislation that gives us things to do other than the process that we see unfolding before us. This is, I've been involved in this for a long time. I've been around politics for a long time. This is absolutely one of the most shameful things that I've seen. Absolutely one of the most shameful things. And they know it. They absolutely know it, and they continue to do the same thing. The people of Illinois deserve better than what the Democrats are giving them. And they deserve better moving forward. And I would call on the governor to live up to his word, to live up to his word that he was going to veto partisanly drawn maps. Governor Pritzker, speaking directly to you, veto these maps. Because as we prove today, they are partisanly drawn. And that's your word. That was your bond to the people of Illinois. Are you going to break your bond with the people of Illinois? 